Listen, let me begin from the, the games okay. over the weekend. Um, Real Madrid started it all by beating um, Athletic Club de Bilbao 2-0 uh, at the San Mamés barrier. But listen, one thing about that particular game is that uh, the game between Real Madrid and also Athletic Club de Bilbao is usually uh, a great game. You know, uh, since 2015, Athletic Bilbao has never beaten Real Madrid. And so going into the game against them was uh, a little bit obvious that uh, they were going to win the game. And so I wasn't really surprised by the result. But if you look at how Madrid played the game and how they won it, uh, players like Rodrigo and also Jude Bellingham were those who got the goals for Real Madrid. They decided to trust the youngsters. And so if you look at the first goal from Rodrigo, how he got the goal and also uh, where the passes came from and how he was able to run into that particular space to get the goal for Real Madrid. Uh, it tells you the youngsters are gradually learning and they are ready to adapt to every other situation that will be given to them. Now, there's one thing I, I want to talk about in this particular game, and it is that uh, Carlo Ancelotti decided to drop Tony Cruz and also Luka Modric from the game. Now, after deciding to drop Tony Cruz and also Luka Modric, he decided to use the likes of uh, Jude Bellingham and also Eduardo Camavinga, Aurelien Schwamini, Federico Valverde. So it tells you he really wanted energy in the game. Uh, he wanted to, to get athleticism and also some kind of youthful exuberance within the midfield and also around the, uh, the entire field. Now, if you look at Real Madrid's 11, eight of them were youngsters with the exception of Dani Kabahar and also David Alaba. And to some point, I would like to add Eda Militao to the old guys. Now, apart from that, the rest of the team were youngsters. Listen, the difference between Real Madrid last season and Real Madrid this season, per the first game I watched, is that they are still struggling to live life after Karim Benzema. Now, Ancelotti has decided to change the system. He wants to now use the 4-4-2 the diamond formation with Jude Bellingham playing right behind Rodrigo and also Vinicius Jr. Now, the problem is that last season with Karim Benzema, this was the plan. Anytime Real Madrid gets the ball, Benzema will be there as the pivot up front. Rodrigo will be on the right side, then Vinicius on the left side. Now, these two boys will be looking at the movement of Karim Benzema before they make their move. Now, if Benzema is dropping deep, it means he's creating a space for either Vinicius or Rodrigo to exploit. And mostly, that space was being exploited by Rodrigo Goyes. Now, when Benzema drops deep, another defender would have to follow him down because of his pedigree, his quality, and also uh, whatever thing he has done on the field of play. And also his quality on the ball. He's very, very good whenever he has the ball and then he wants to express himself. Now, Vinicius will decide to stay wide. Now, when Karim Benzema drops, he leaves a space for Rodrigo to go and then fill into. Then the one-two will be played between Benzema and Vinicius. Then they will try to locate Rodrigo. And in some instances, Benzema will decide not to drop. Then it means Vinicius will go wide, Rodrigo will go wide, and then they will find a way to locate Karim Benzema. But this time, they are just two up front. So they either open up leaving nobody in the middle or they will close the space and also leave the wide spaces. That is what they are finding it difficult to adapt to at the moment. But Vincent, I think uh, Jude Bellingham did a perfect job in midfield. Interceptions, everything, and also its ability to drive the ball into the attacking third was something superb. And he crowned it all with a goal. And so I think the trust the coach had in the youngsters and then gave them the opportunity, they really paid him off. But I think Real Madrid will still need someone to stand there and then be the striker for them. Else, there are certain games you wouldn't get Rodrigo scoring, you wouldn't get Jude Bellingham scoring. And so it will be difficult for Real Madrid to do that. If they don't get a striker, I wouldn't be surprised. Most of their games will be 0 0 this season because defensively they are a bit organized. But going up front, uh, the goals might be uh, something difficult to get from. Now, let me talk about...